Hello, my gorgeous Tauruses. Okay, this is the second part. Sorry. <laughs> I have to go through it like this. Um, it was just too long. I gotta learn how to make it shorter. But as we last took off, we were talking about the chariot. I just about to clarify that for y'all. Welcome, welcome, my Tauruses and my cross watchers. Especially if you're interested in a Taurus. Okay. So, where was I? Hmm? King of Swords, mental clarity. We're clarifying the chariot. This is two kings. Ooh, King of Swords and King of Cups. Those wanted to fall out, so. So the King of Swords could be you charging towards someone or someone charging towards you with mental clarity and truth. Could be a father figure, you know. Could be you wanting to tell the truth to a father figure. Um... This is a decision, a choice, a direction, success, victory. We're clarifying the chariot and the king of swords and the king of cups came up. So the king of cups is loving and caring and strong, compassionate, emotionally balanced, affectionate, again, good husband, good father. And... Let's just get one more card for the chariot. Mm -hmm. Again, there's this fear, this anxiety, having sleepless nights, nightmares, hopelessness, depression. This is in your wishes, the chariot, as I said. So this is something you wish for. Maybe you're wishing to get out of some nightmare recently that has happened, something that caused you deep unhappiness, having uh, sleepless nights, anxiety. Now this could be about a father figure, a father, someone you look up to. Um, this could be a fear and anxiety of being a father, becoming a father or mother. Um, this could be a fear This could be just you like wanting to make the right choice and decision with your heart instead of your head, you know, kind of thing. Um, definitely some repetitive cards coming up here. I see someone that is very close to you dealing with some legal issues. It could be you or it could be someone very close to you, really close friend, a relative. <clears throat> Let's see the outcome of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's something... There's something coming up that's going to cause some chaos, destruction, a break in the foundation with this justice, with this, with this legal issue. not easy. It's going to be scary. Let's see, but with the Wheel of Fortune, this means tables are going to turn. This means good fortune, windfall, you know, so let's clarify that. Give me 
clear guided messages from my Taurus, please. For the Wheel of Fortune. Holy. Okay, so we have something to do with a Queen of Cups. This is a very nurturing mother. This is a very nurturing feminine energy. Um, very caring, creative, loving. This is a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Advice with the Hierophant. Some kind of advice, someone, some kind of traditional values. Um, maybe asking advice from this Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, female or male. About some kind of wish in the future, some kind of healing. Something you wish for. Something you wish to do. Let's dig deeper, guys. Let's dig deeper. Why the Queen of Cups? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So this Queen of Cups could be a mother. The mother of your child. An auntie. A grandma. Definitely a very strong female presence here for my Tauruses. Now, the Nine of Swords, there's some kind of, again, anxiety, fear, insomnia, deep unhappiness, a feeling of helplessness. Then there's the Tower clarifying this Queen of Cups. That's upheaval, chaos, lost foundation catastrophe, sudden change, destruction, possible separation. Mm. There is something that's going to shake or shock you, your world. And it has something to do with the Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Again, grandma, auntie, mother, mother of your child, with the empress there. This could even be that you found out someone's pregnant, about to have your child. However, you were not expecting it. Mm -hmm. Let's see, is that why you asked for advice? The hair font? Let's let's clarify the hair font in the wheel of fortune here. Queen of Cups again. Oh my god, oh my god. So the Queen of Cups again. She is compassionate, she's caring, she's emotionally stable, she's very intuitive, intuitive, calm, she's comforting, very attractive, a good mother, a mature, emotional female. I feel like this Queen of Cups is older. Okay. Yeah, like I'm really picking up mother with the Empress. Either the mother of your child, a mother, a grandmother, an aunt, a mother figure of some sort, page of cups. In the future, now there is the immediate future and then the near future, um, I see a page of cups. So this is a creative opportunity, a happy surprise, um, intuitive messages. Page of Cups is like a whole bunch of things. It's a lot of good news. It could be uh, someone you're planning on proposing to, uh, someone you're married to. It could be married to the mother of a child who is a water sign. She doesn't have to be, but it's coming up real strong here. You might be in love with the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, female. Um, doesn't have to be a grandmother, mother, but 
This is for some of my uh, viewers. It is. It's a mother, an auntie, a grandma, mother of your child. For others, you're going to get some really good news. Really good news. A happy surprise coming in, in the future. Why the star? I had a star for my Tauruses. Yes, that's what I felt. This star is like healing. It's uh, patience. It's finding meaning. Finding purpose with the temperance. Hierophant again. It's traditions, ethics, wisdom, commitment, marriage, um, having blind faith, a spiritual lesson. Ace of Cups. Ooh, honey. Yes. So it's like some of my Tauruses are really wishing upon a star for a, a deep connection a new relationship, a new beginning with the past relationship. Maybe trying to manifest that. <clears throat> kind of hoping, praying that love will get better. That love won't hurt so bad this next time. Also, the Ace of Cups is known for fertility. So that is quite possible that some of my Tauruses out there, huh, they can say, I told you first. You might be expecting a baby. You might hear that your significant other is with child, pregnant. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, it's like you're going to ask advice about this, this new energy coming in, um, this deep connection, this new relationship, this new beginning. Now this could be uh, about a baby you're about to have that you were not expecting. Um, it could be about this new person, this new relationship, um, rekindling of an old one. I've seen that in these cards too. You might have a new start with a Sagittarius or another Taurus. But for a lot of my Tauruses, there's definitely a lot of water here. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember how I was saying I got a strong, strong feeling that some of my Tauruses wanted to know something a yes or no question so i'm going to meditate for a little bit and find out what is that question huh. right off the hop i got someone wants to know if a court case is going to go in their person's favor Are they going to be successful in justice, in a court case with justice? Is something going to go fair? I have to do it in the yes-no question. So, will this court case or this, this legal situation um, turn out in their favor? Yes or no? Yes, it will, okay? With the star, that's a yes. Well, that's good news. <laughs> um, <clears throat> also, I am getting, somebody wants to know they're pregnant or perhaps they got someone pregnant so for my Tauruses I 
are they pregnant or did they get someone pregnant? Ooh, the chariot. And that is a yes. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, y'all. It's just, I hate not showing, um, yes. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, but the star is yes, okay? And I was so used to doing lives and like personals instead where you can like show the kind of proof, you know, cause like I could just be talking out my ass, right? But this card, if it's a yes or no question, it's a yes. So for those of you who are watching, you're a Taurus, connected to a Taurus, and you want to know if you are, in fact, pregnant, or you are, you, you did get that, you did get um, your partner pregnant, it's a yes. Congratulations. Okay, but this is not going to resonate for everyone. So, always follow through with the pregnancy test, okay? Because uh, this could be some of my Tauruses and some of them, you know, that that's not their question. This is just what I'm channeling, okay? And again, it's a general... You want a definite yes or no? It's gonna to need to be a personal. All right. Hmm. I'm I'm getting um, no. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm not. Um, a blue cap. I'm gonna say it. A blue cap. I was just thinking, I wonder if it's going to be a girl or a boy. And then I didn't want to ruin the surprise for anyone who is expecting. But I just seen a blue cap. I don't know how that resonates. But it could mean that you're having a little boy. I don't want to ruin it for you if you want it to be a surprise. But again, this is just speaking to one of my Tauruses. Or a few of my Tauruses. <laughs> you know. I'm just picking up the energies here. Okay, any yes, no more questions, just add them in the comments below and we'll do that again on the next read. Um, <clears throat> I have a deck where it's fairly new, but I shuffle until they come out on their own because I like clear guided messages that are meant just for my Tauruses. And what came out was moving on. So automatically what I got when I held this card is someone's tired of the BS. Someone's tired of trying to make things work. Someone feels like it really is an uphill struggle for them all the time in this relationship. And they're just fed up. Um, I feel like this could be in a friendship. It's a really strong connection relationship and they're just feeling like they're the only ones putting in the work all the time. You know what I mean? They feel alone. They feel like they've been alone for so long in this relationship and they are turning their back on it. First of all, I want to say that takes a lot of strength, especially when what I'm sensing here is it's been a long a long relationship. This could even be like a childhood friend that you would type and you just get, you're turning your back, you're giving up. I also see the number eight. 
The number eight could be an issue of significance here. Maybe you've known this person for eight years, since you were eight years old. Mission of significance with that eight there. On to the next is dreams coming true. Okay. Now the crazy thing is this is eight and then nine. Okay, eight and nine. Now your year of birth could be 98 or 89. Um, you could have known this person for eight or nine years or since you were eight or nine years old. Dreams coming true, dreams coming true. There's something you wanted for quite a long time, Taurus, and you have been thinking about it, building, walking towards it, working on it. And it seems as though this is confirmation that it's going to come true. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's anything else that falls out for my Tauruses. Anything else? Anything else for my Tauruses? What do my Tauruses need to know? Oh. Teach. So some of my Tauruses might be, I feel like teaching a child, teaching children, teaching a lesson to someone, going back to some kind of education, school, um, what's the word? Uh, I see electrician learning a new trade, electrician, electrician, something to do with that, like plumbing, electrician, something you're interested, you were interested in, but it's. It's not something you've done before. It's been something you're curious about. A trade of some sort. Mm. Number five. You could be, you know, done this course in five weeks, five months. Um, you could decide to do it in five days, five weeks. From now but yeah something to do with teaching and learning yeah take a look where the lights I just got called to do this deck just so out of the blue like that. So I'm going to do it. Hope you don't mind. This is a postcard from Spirit. It's long. But, oops. That's just way too many. Way, way too many. So I'm going to take the one I'm called out. This is the one. It says, Dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicities when all the right people, when all the right people, the right place, the right opportunities, and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. <clears throat> we, went, we want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come who will deliver them and when they will show up and what they will do for you. All of that is 
art department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to express and what wants to express through you, to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. What would be a good mantra for you today? We're on it, relax. Oh, sorry. That would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it, relax. If only, if only knew how much you were loved. Sigh. That's beautiful. See, out of all the ones that dropped out, that was the one I was drawn to. So that's a really important message for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this read. Um, any other questions, anything you rather zone in on, love, particularly career, anything like that, please leave it in the comments below. I want to thank all of my subscribers and viewers. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. And definitely 100%. Thank you for sharing. Um, my readings could resonate and help people. And I really do appreciate you sharing them. I really appreciate all the love and support. And I am truly, truly grateful. Uh, without you, I wouldn't be able to do what I love doing. So thank you from my heart. Have a good night's sleep, sweet dreams. God bless you.